Hey guys! <laughs> Good evening everybody! So, this is my live video for the first time in a very long time. So while waiting for the others, you listen to the music. Pilitay na maganda. Piano Sonata by Ludwig van Beethoven. How are you guys? Okay, so while well, waiting for for the others. Can you read my shirt? It's eat sleep law. I sleep I eat I law. I eat sleep law. Yeah. Okay, so I have here um I asked some of my fans, friends and followers from my um page about um, suggestions on the topics because as you know uh, maybe as you've already felt like in the past uh, weeks I was busy because I was preparing for the bar examination because the classic uh, time for preparation for the bar is actually five to six months so when the six month uh, period before the bar already entered I uh, decided to lessen my social media interaction and uh, focus more on my my studies but then yesterday was it yesterday yes yesterday it was announced that our bar examination was moved uh, on November uh, 2021 which is more than a year right now so that's is a very long time so I'll in effect I'll be having two reviews no because I am um, enrolled in one um, review center right now in preparation for the upcoming supposed to be uh, bar examination but then it was moved on 2021 November so I will re-enroll in another um, review center on the second time around in preparation for um, the uh, bar examination on 2021 so ilang review na ako di ba? so I, I think that's good but then again I thought that um, well I respect the decision of the Supreme Court who am I to to uh, go against that and I have no power to go against the opinion of the Supreme Court or the decision of the Supreme Court which because of their wisdom um, they moved the uh, bar examination um, on November 2021 and I really you know as a student of law I really respect no, the collective wisdom of the justices of the Supreme Court um, you know what makes the Supreme Court different is that the Supreme Court is composed of expert uh, members. Uh, this is the only branch of the government wherein uh, they are not elected. They are There's like a, a very high minimum standard of becoming a justice of the Supreme Court. So one really has to prove his worth in achievements in the legal field, all right, before they are even um, nominated to be members of the Supreme Court. So if you're like really going to look at it, um, the Supreme Court is composed by highly educated and uh, uh, competent individuals. Well, relatively, if you're going to compare it to the other branches of the government whereby some of the requirements just, some of the requirements would be just, uh, what's this, you're able to read and write, right and um, a certain age like that so it's like the the educational qualification in other branches of the government are not uh, that high as compared to the Supreme Court this is the reason why when the Supreme Court makes a decision as for me even if it's not a case decision it's just sort of a resolution or like this the decision of moving the bar I really respect it because it was made by you know, and bank um but decided by the majority no of uh, the uh, members of the supreme court 
that the bar examination be moved on the on November 2021 and I respect that wisdom. Good evening everybody. Hey hey. So let's do a shout out first. Uh, but wait. I think the internet is a little better tonight than the other week. The other week or was it last week? Okay. So some some of you are uh, saying that I lost a lot of weight. So yes, I lost a lot of weight and I have my um, own diet program which I designed. <laughs> Did you know that I'm a registered nurse as well? So I designed my own diet program. No exercise, no um, sort of uh, diet, diet restrictions. It's just a change of the schedule of um, eating. It's like a modified um, intermittent fasting. So, I am experimenting on it and it really works. Look, I lost a lot of weight already. So, saan po mabibili yung t-shirt nyo, sir? This was actually a gift. Now, this is a bench shirt. And then, my sister had it, like, printed. I don't know if also in bench or some other place. But it was, uh, it's it's one of my uh, favorite shirts, no? So, yeah. So, yung mga nanonood, si Linda V. NM, Paul Ray Martinez, Beth Jemina, Clifford Silangan, and daming nanonood, Ration Silvestre, Nix is watching, um, Renevic Rizalada is watching, Brian Gozon, my cousin, is watching, Zell Olarte, uh, Mr. Ibareta, Mr. or Miss Ronald Columnas, yes. So, uh, this is my hair without, uh, no, no, it's just naturally drying my hair. Okay, so, um, I have a lot of you know, requests and questions. So, well, you can ask your questions already if you're having uh, any difficulty. Shout out Amoranto Loredo Edangal is watching. All right. So, Kimberly Bukayong is watching. So, I was advised no, by some multi multimedia, social media um, experts that I should wait a little like 5 to 10 minutes before I like sort of get into the the main topic because anyway facebook live i can trim the first part like this one this part i can trim it and then make the video shorter for replays right and have i told you already that wait i'm going to share this in a no um case digest okay now that i am no longer a law student <laughs> But a jury's doctor, okay? So I can sort of, I have a little more sort of uh, moral ascendancy, no? To give tips uh, on surviving law school, no? So I will not give uh, tips on how to survive the bar because that's that's something I am also facing. But definitely passing the, passing, um, what you might call it, um, the... Uh, Law school, no? Passing law school is something that I can, I have a lot of things to uh, share to you. And not just law school, but also your undergraduate, no? Because I pretty well did good. <laughs> I did well, no? I did well also in my undergraduate. Okay. So... Since the internet is uh, better now, no? I would want to to sort of, uh, how do I share this? Uh, just stay put, no? Um, and I'm going to upload this also on my YouTube uh, channel. And those of you who've already read my announcement, no? Um, YouTube is already uh, my official, I am already, the, I am already YouTube's uh, official partner. So every time you watch my video and every time, even a small um, ads, ads or ad um, uh, appears or appear in uh, my uh, um, channel or video, I, I get to get paid. I, I, they pay me, no? Very, very minimal, but then I was actually surprised to see that uh, it's real, no? It's real, because I haven't uploaded any, um, I ha haven't uploaded any uh, videos lately, but uh, they sort of, uh, wait lang. 
how do I ano? this is always my problem no how do I uh, share this in um, my group sandali na ha guys ha Oo, oh, balat ko ho talaga yan, skin ko ho talaga yan. Medyo meron nga ho akong ano. Lagi niyo yung tinatanong kung balat ko ho. Yung balat ko ho talaga yan. Ganyan ho talaga yan. Select group. Same po tayo ng kakampi. What's that? Attorney, problem ko po. Antukin ako. Ilang pages lang. Ay, meron ako solution dyan. There I, there, I have a solution to inaantok. Oo, wait lang kayo. I have a good uh, solution sa mga antukin. Right? Okay. How do I start a watch party? Wait lang ha. I'll share it on my ano, page. Share it on Facebook. But I want to share it on my ano. Okay, sige, tanong lang kayo dyan. Magtanong lang kayo dyan. Okay. I also have a list of questions here, no? On my uh, page. More options. Facebook. Parang nagbago yung rules ng ano. <laughs> Oo, blooming ako, blooming. Blooming ako kasi wala akong ano eh. Wala akong inaaral ngayon, no? Because uh, I was studying the previous days, but uh, because of the recent changes, no? I stopped studying like for what, two days already. No? Okay. So, good evening, good evening. I miss you too. DG May Gonzalez. Hacks for working students. Yes, I have tips for that. Yes, because I experienced that. Christian Queno. Alright. Sana all blooming. <laughs> ang hirap mag aral pag demanding ang work. That's true. Please give links that can give me tips to manage my time effectively. Okay. Sophia Cruz is watching. Mark Angelo is watching. So, ang dami na nanonood, no? So, okay. Na-miss ko kayo, na-miss ko mag-live, no? Pero alam nyo naman, dahil hindi naman talaga ako full-time vlogero, ay nag-vlog lang ako kapag ka ako ay, ano, merong uh, time and opportunity. So, also, my vlog, vlog, right? It is like just a hobby. So, bahala kayong manood kayo, hindi kayo manood, share ninyo, bahala kayo. Bahala kayo sa buhay ninyo. Just, just that I'm here and I'm sharing whatever I know to help improve, no, your um, dealings with your uh, studies. Because, uh, 
you know, if you're gonna listen, if you're if you're gonna listen for tips, ask for tips, definitely you ask from people who who were able to sort of succeed already on that part. Say for example, your first year student, and then you have another student telling you what to do, well that's a little that's a little unwise because that student is still like sort of you know haven't passed that uh, say first year so if second year student all right an honor student or a dean's lister or somebody who's who performed well in first year would give advice then you listen why because with respect to first year that person was also was was already able to sort of hurdle or be, became victorious on that um uh a portion of law school uh, what more if third year fourth year students who did well in law school all right um uh, give you advice right so right now um there are only uh maybe few people who are on the internet doing like uh, live coaching like this or giving tips on how to survive law school um and so i really took the opportunity na to sort of this niche Okay, the, the 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 listeners and the watchers that I have are really, really in their studies, not just in law school, but also in their undergraduate, no? So, ganon. Okay. So, I have, ano, no? Any advice po, sir? I'm a first-year student. My problem, sir, I cannot manage my time considering the nature of my work. You're a police officer. You're a police officer. Okay. 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 Big thanks. Ano ako, si Chino de la Cruz. Yan. Classmate ko yan. Boss namin yan eh. Yan. Si Chino. How do you study po in law school as first year student? Commentary books? No, no, I have a system which I will tell you, ha. I have a system. Okay. Ayan, na-share ko na siya sa case digest, no? Alright, let's start first with um, uh, the system, no? Okay, patayin ko na yung music. Start na tayo. Okay. So, how do you study? How do you study? Good evening, good evening everybody. So, we have here questions, no? How do you study? Do you first study uh, the cases or the codal or the, the notes? All right. So this is my um, formula, which I also got from various professors. No, I just sort of harmonize the same. So if you have time, which you do, all right, granted that you have time, okay, which you do because it's, it's a pandemic and everybody is at home, all right, uh, it is presumed that you have your your time so the the correct um sort of um, order of studying would be that of it's codal cases commentary the mem aid and the notes and reviewers again all right mem aid is a reviewer but then you you first read the mem aid before other notes again if you're studying all right, you first do this in order. If you have time, granted that you have time, of course you have time because it's pandemic. So number one, you you must study first the codal, the codal provisions because it's the law. All right, you will later later learn in your um, legal research, logic and writing that that's uh, the law is a primary source, no? Together with the Supreme Court decision. So the, here are two primary sources. Okay, this, so if you're answering. You have for you have to first put all right your um, primary sources and what are this? These are your provisions or your codal provisions and your Supreme Court cases. Okay, so in in this order, codal, and then the the Supreme Court cases, and then after that the commentaries. Commentaries, ito yung mga libro, here are the books, no? And after the commentaries, then you do your notes. Pero priorities sa notes is the memory aid. Okay, so each school yata has their own memory aid, but I recommend San Beda memory aid. No, it's very very good. So, 
after the after after the the memory aid after you read the part okay representing your sort of uh, scope then you read your ito na yung mga notes ng other students the yung mga notes ng mga pinapa photocopy ninyo from elsewhere why why in this order so it's c c c all right m and then n all right so you have your codal you have your cases and then you have your commentaries and then you have your uh, memory aid and then you have your other notes notes okay why is this because if you don't have much time but you were able to read the codal provisions and if you have a good sort of um reading comprehension and imagination okay you will be able to answer the questions based on the the codal provisions okay? for example there is an uh, um uh, for example, there is a question on delay, all right? So, you weren't able to delay, no? Delay, contractual uh, obligations, and there's delay. And then you're given an example, and then you cannot uh, remember any, or you weren't able to read any case, you weren't able to read any commentary, but you remember that 1169, the principle therein is that there is no demand, there is no legal delay. So, if you know that, you can already cite that under 1169 of the Civil Code, it provides that, okay, in substance, that if there is no demand, there is no delay. So, you already have your codal provision in, in you, right? So, even if you're not able to say it in verb, but able to answer, so that's a correct answer. So, your professor, if your professor is fair, fair enough, all right, you will be credited a grade which is not a failing grade, okay? Hindi man masyado mataas, but you already uh, you were a already able to answer no correctly okay and then you have your codal provision so if you cannot remember that it's under 1169 of the civil code you can say that under the civil code uh, it provides that if there is no demand there is no legal delay so you already have that uh, sort of idea in your in your uh, um obligations and contracts and mind you if you're going to read the the codal provisions first you will save a lot of time because why the supreme court's decisions are you know are based naman all right um with the provisions of the law so hindi naman nag invento ang supreme court natin they just uh, uh, interpret the law no because under article 8 diba or, or, yes, Article 8 of the Civil Code, it provides the judicial decisions in applying and interpreting the laws and the Constitution shall form part of the legal system of the Philippines. Alright, so meaning to say that the, 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 the court's um, role is to interpret the law. Alright, so uh, most of the time, you know, we will remember or maybe many of you were able already to take uh, statutory construction or maybe you're taking statutory construction. If the law is clear, all right, you don't need any construction. So, you will just read it plainly. So, if the law naman is clear talaga and there is no doubt as to the application, I think you can answer correctly because you're just basing your answer on the codal provisions. Now, if it's dubious or if it's confusing, then you resort to the decisions of the Supreme Court. But then, after reading the codal provision, definitely that's not like sort of sufficient. Why? Because our course is Doctor of Jurisprudence, also known as uh, Juris Doctor. All right, yung JD. JD, okay, means Juris Doctor, also known as Doctor of Jurisprudence. So if you're studying uh, Doctor of Jurisprudence, or also known as Juris Doctor, and then you don't know Jurisprudence, then that's like, that's that's not right, right? <laughs> so you must master really jurisprudence. So you read the cases after the codal provision. Kasi kapit codal ang tawag namin dyan. Kapit codal. Okay? So, and then the Supreme Court. And then you have your commentaries. You have your commentaries. So why, why commentaries only go third? Commentaries go third because why? They are just rehashing, okay, what the law and the Supreme Court said. Okay? Very rare are those authors who provide their own opinions. Because we have like 119 or 120 years jurisprudential history already so our jurisprudence is, is already very rich no so many conceivable uh, problems or legal problems have already been dealt with by the supreme court so halos meron na meron pa rin mga hindi pero halos yung mga everyday living natin or everyday life natin there's already a supreme court decision in its 100 almost 120 years of jurisprudential history so the commentaries are like sort of rehashing this and making it simpler for you so 
So, you read also the books. And then after that, the memory aid. The memory aid is very good, no? The memory aid of San Peda. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that because I'm a Bedan um, JD. I'm not saying that. I'm I'm saying it because I was able to use it and it uh, the, the, the set of mem, it really helped me, no? Because why? It summarizes everything, right? From the Codal Provision, the important doctrine, doctrines of the Supreme Court, and then the commentaries of uh, the uh, expert authors. And then they give you the, what do you call it, uh, mnemonics. All right. So we have mnemonics in our San Beda memory. It is really going to help you. And then the last last part, which you're uh, going to read, is your, your notes. No? What are these notes? Ito yung mga, yung mga parang kinumpile ng mga other students all right, to guide you with the flow of the, the discussion. So, it's very important also to read. So, even at least once mabasa mo yan, right? Pagpasok mo sa class, you will be able to answer. Definitely, you will be able to answer. Why? O, eh, syempre naman. Kung hindi mo maalala yung codal provision, maalala mo yung Supreme Court decision. Kung hindi mo maalala yung Supreme Court decision, maalala mo yung sinabi ng author. Pag hindi mo naalala yung sinabi ng author, maalala mo yung memory aid. Pag hindi mo maalala yung memory aid, maalala mo yung notes. Kapag ka hindi mo maalala, may problema ka sa memory. Kailangan mo naging ko below ba? <laughs> okay? So, like, you have, uh, um, you have, uh, what do you call it? Um, sort of, uh, Ammunition. So you have your ammunition. So you have your five categories of ammunitions where you, you will be able to get your answers. Okay? So that's the order, ha? Huh? That's the order. Okay. Tandaan nyo yan, ha? Kaya yung mga nasa, ano, ha? Respectively, yan. Hindi yan balibalik tayo. The codals, the Supreme Court cases, the commentaries, uh, the memory aid of San Beda, and the notes. Alright? So now, paano kung kapit-patalim? Paano yung kapit-patalim? May kapit-patalim. Paano nangyayari mga kapit-patalim? Ang kapit-patalim, um, hindi ka nakapag-aral talaga. So, maybe nag-inuman kayo ng mga classmates mo that night before the class and then uh, nag-e-numan kayo ng mga classmates ninyo or nagkwentuhan kayo or you had a Netflix party so you weren't able to study. So, what are you gonna do? Okay, codal and memory aid. Okay, that's what you're gonna do. You do your codal and then your memory aid. But, I have to tell you this. There is a backlash if you do that. Backlash! Woo! Right? So, <laughs> there is a backlash. Why? Because when you go to the higher years, you might be able to survive, okay, your recitation by uh, sort of, uh, you know, kapit patalim, ko lang, at saka, at saka memory aid, okay, at saka notes, okay? So, in, with, in, in that order, ha? So, kodal, memory aid, and then the notes. So, pag yung kodal, medyo magulo na. So, memory aid na lang, at saka notes. You can survive because the memory aid is very organized, no? It's like you can get like the keywords there. And then the notes, the flow of the, that professor. So you have like the professor, XXX notes. So karamihan, apelido nila yan. And then notes, alright? So it's like the flow of the discussion. So sometimes, hindi ka pag aral you will rely on the notes. And together with the memory aid, especially if you're asked for doctrines and uh, enumerations. So yan yung kapit patalim. Bakit sinabi kapit batale, makaka-survive ka sa recitation, you might even survive the examinations. But then, when you reach the higher years, okay, say for example, you were able to surpass first year by just your codal and your, your memory aid and some notes without reading the cases in full and without reading the uh, commentaries of the expert authors. So, what's gonna happen? When you go to the second, when you go second year, third year, fourth year, alright, all these concepts are intertwined. Are harmonized together. So it's like uh, it's not stand alone because commercial law, all right, is an offshoot of civil law. If you're going to, um, if you're going to, uh, what you might call it, if you're going to read the history of offshoot, okay, of civil law, meaning to say we have the general provisions of civil law, but then you know the the system or the uh, what you call the circumstances of uh, merchants, okay are so special, commercial laws uh, were made, all right, to deal with the specific uh, legal issues and problems. But then again, being an offshoot, okay, of civil law, all right, specifically sales, credit transactions, uh, obligations and contracts, all right, anak niya yan. So, if you have good, okay, 
uh, foundation in obligations and contracts, sa sales and lease, or right? when you go to already second year and third year, you're going to take commercial law, okay, which is very difficult. Well, not very difficult, but it's one of the most challenging, no? Um, subjects, alright, in law school. Ano ba yung mga yan? Yung insurance law, you have your uh, transportation law, you have your negotiable instruments, you have your corporation law, and you have your financial rehabilitation act and all others, okay? So, these are offshoots no, of, of, of civil law. So, if you did not study well on your first year because you just relied on your codal provisions and your, your memory aid, okay, you will suffer because... Uh, you don't know the exempt shots. You don't know the subtle differences. So, and the decisions of the Supreme Court because we have what we call jurisprudential exceptions. Okay? These are exceptions that you do not find in the Codal. These are exceptions that uh, were made, okay, by the Supreme Court from the implied, okay, effect of of the law this is what you call ex necessitate legis no if you're studying your statutory construction you have what you call the ex necessitate legis necessary to enforce all right the law uh, reasonably no uh, ex necessitate legis so uh, many many cases no the supreme court they create what they what we call all right as the jurisprudential exception so if you didn't read these cases how will you be able to know this uh jurisprudential uh exemptions diba okay so ano po bang mas recommend niyo iskra iskra or cda shall iskra definitely eh, definitely it's iskra why because iskra the original iskra okay the supreme court reports supreme court reports annotated is actually um, it has annotations so before you even read okay the cases before you even read the case in full, you have already your syllabus. Uh, it's like constitutional law, like that. The right to due process is violated with da, 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 da. remedial law. The locus is standi, da, 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 da. statutory construction. When the meaning of, when the wordings of the law, right, blah, 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 plain, and blah, 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 no need for construction, right? And then, then, then criminal law, like that. So it's like uh, everything that's discussed in that full text, you already have sort of a snippet, all right? You can pick, uh, peek, not pick. You can peek, okay, on the nakikita mo na, right? You can peek, sneak peek of of the case, all right? So that's the benefit of Iskra. And CD Asia has no syllabus, no? CD Asia, uh, although Iskra does not contain yung mga... Batas, no? So, it's like you're going to research for RA 9262. It's not gonna appear in Iskra as the full text of the 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 law. But then again, as for me, I don't need that because you have your law fill. If you cannot find it in law fill, you can find it at the uh, press office of Malacanang, right? The official, the online official gazette. So, it, you have it. So, why do you need like a sort of a third party to even uh, access that? Because you have uh, like the law field by, you uh, know, thanks, thanks to uh, no, Arulliano, Arulliano Law Foundation for having the law field. It's pretty much updated, no? So, yeah, it's like uh, I, I see to, I, I see that the, the most important part of Iskra, no, is your, uh, the syllabus, no, the syllabus. And not just the syllabus. Not just the syllabus. I like the font of, of Scra. Maganda yung pagka-type ng Scra. Parang typewriter. So, nalilang lang. Sobrang, sobrang lamig ng, ng aircon ko. Okay. So, okay. So, yun yung pagkakaiba, ha? The Scra is very... Scra is... Now, Scra is very expensive. That's, that's the problem. But there's a good news. But there's a good news. No? You can... Uh, have group subscription. You have you know, group subscription. All you have to do is to search, no? For uh, you write the name. You write the name, no? Sefina Gonzalez. She is the vice president, no? Uh, of um, Central Bookstore. Doctor Sefina Gonzalez is the vice president for the legal materials of of Central Bookstore. So um, she, they have this like a program wherein, like, if you're ten get like a group subscription, alright? And, um, not only that, 
um, because of the COVID pandemic, no, um, you, you write this, you write this, you search it on Twitter and on Facebook, UP Porsche Sorority, Porsche, P-O-R-T-I-A, UP Porsche Sorority has like sort of a bulk subscription at Central, wherein they, they, they sort of sell it, okay, on retail, and very, it's very, it's very cheap, it's, it's very cheap, no? But then the Iskra that I gave away is a standalone Iskra. Like the two Skras that I, I gave, I think, last month were were each no standalone accounts. Meaning to say it's not a group account. The the owner thereof, alright, can 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 use it kan sa kanya lang. Sa kanya lang and wala siyang cashier. It's not a group account. So hindi siya mag hindi niya kailang pag communicate sa other other people, no? And it's a full, full uh, Iskra account, good for one year. So, yung other promos, I think, can only last for, I think, yung sa UP Porsche is six months and then it's re renewable. But the one I gave away, as for my um, uh, giveaways, no, it's a full account, ng abogadong account yung pinamigay ko. Okay? Yung gamit ng abogado. Same lang naman yun. It's just that it's one year, hindi na puputol. And at the same time, it's not shared with others. So, it's it's very exclusive for the winner only. Okay? At uh, gumagamit ka po ba ng text-to-speech app? No, no, no. I don't use that. I don't use that. Why? Because if you're going to... say, Because there's a program on the... on the like I think it's Apple or Android. Uh, it's like it, uh, the computer is going to read for you the text. No, But that, there's a problem. It's a very problematic. I tried it like maybe three minutes long and then I, I knew that it's not going to work because... Like I know how my my brain works. Maybe I told you that I'm already been I'm a meditator for close to ten years already. You know? I started meditating when I was in early twenties, no. So I kind of have a control to my brain and I have familiarity. The problem with with um, text to speech is that it's not your voice. It's not your voice. If you're reading something, right? If you're, for example, you're reading something, right? You're reading a book. You're reading a case. Your, your brain is reading it in your voice. It's in your voice. So it goes directly down to your subconscious mind because it's your voice, okay? This is the reason why when you read something or even when you write something, the retention is much higher than you just sort of like uh, heard it from somebody who, right? It, without focus. Because when you read something and then you, your brain is translating, okay? The, the thought from the text, all right? You're reading the text, it's being translated by your senses, all right? And then it's being interpreted by your mind and then you're able to understand it. Now, when you write it, all right, you read it, you said it, you write it. More senses are involved, the more retention you will have, okay? So don't use text-to-speech app ever, okay? Okay, hello, hello, ang dami nanonood. Si Avril Keith. Avril Keith, eh, eh, siya yata yung nanalo ng, ano, <laughs> ng Kaudal, right? This Imperial is watching, Rosemary is watching, KRM is watching, Jigo, ang dami nanonood. Alright, Carmel is watching. Okay, so now, ask ko lang po, paano makahanap ng full text case? Oh, it's very easy. Love it. You just have to type the keywords, no? You must be masters of finding keywords, no? So, uh, you just write the, the case and then the, even if there's no um, Supreme Court uh, sort of, what do you call that? The general registry or trivia high GR number is general registry. Okay, so even if you um, don't know the, the, the GR number and you only have like the date of promulgation, that would be enough. Sometimes you, even just the name of the the... The parties, I say, for example, Reyes versus People, two thousand and eight, right? So, you read it now. So, if you're going, if you found, say, for example, three three cases of Reyes versus People, two thousand eight, then you you look at which you know, which topic is that assigned? Is that assigned under murder? Because there could be there could be Reyes versus People, which is what, uh, uh qualified theft or what arson, and then definitely if one is um murder, then under the case of, say, you have your case list and it's given to you, People versus Reyes 2008, and then there are three different cases, so we um, as to which which uh, list, okay, or category does that Reyes versus People fall under in your in your syllabus, 
so that you will be able to sort of see. It's like just you're, you're weeding it out. You're weeding it out. The process of weeding it out. That's how you find it. And Lawfill provides, lawfill.com, no? Provides uh, cool text cases. Kahit wala kayong iskra, merong Lawfill. Kung walang Lawfill, merong Supreme Court. May website ang Supreme Court, okay? Okay, so any advice? I'm a first-year law student. My problem is I cannot manage my time considering the nature of my work. I am a police officer. Oh, sir, ha? Oh, alam mo na. Kaibigan tayo. Saan ang duty mo? Okay. <laughs> okay, so, ano? Boss. Okay, so this is how you're, go- you're going to do it, no? Um, there are spaces kasi when you're... For example, you're having your duties, no? You're having your duties. I, I, I became sort of an expert of multitasking when when we were back back in my training as a, uh, as a nurse, no? Because like you have your 12 hours, 16 hours duty. Eh, hindi naman yung 16 hours na yun ay nakatayo ka at naglilibot ka, right? Because there is like a, a, a schedule for you. Like for example, you have your Q6, meaning to say six, every 6 hours you're looking at that particular ward, alright? And then you have your Q4, right? And then you have like little spaces. You have like little spaces, like 30 minutes, one hour. You're just standby, on standby. So that's where you're going to put that, that's that's where you're going to put that, uh, what you might call it, uh, studies, reading really quickly. So I suggest that you also read my, no, not read, watch my thunder reading. Why it's not lightning reading? Lightning reading is impossible because it's a speed of light, okay? So it's like, I just put it thunder reading because it's a speed of sound, okay? So it's like, you know, I just didn't put it lightning because I don't want to make it appear so, you know, it's just thunder. It's like um, second to the speed of light. So it's very, very fast, but then it's possible, okay? So parang ganun yun. Pero mabilis pa rin yung speed of sound. Okay, but anyway, so I have that video, uh, Thunder Reading. You can use that technique, no? I learned that not in law, that back in nursing. The Thunder thunder Reading, okay? So, but that's my own version na kasi. Because they thought that's just to read in saccades, no? Yung, yung group of words, okay? So, now, you're working and then you find those spaces, you would realize that if you're, say, for example, very busy, and then you allot, say, say one hour in studying, sabihin ko sa'yo, mas marami kang matre-retain, mas marami kang matututuhan kesa yung mga hindi nagtatrabaho na nag-aaral lang five hours. Why? Eh, nag-Facebook yung mga yan, nag, uh, right? The Twitter, Instagram. But since that you're working, you're busy, excuse me, and then you allot time, okay, with your studies, all right, the effect is that you were more uh, focused. Why? Why is that so? Because you you have this sort of parang kulang ang oras. So it's like you're maximizing the you're maximizing the the time. Okay, and then your focus is like laser like focus. Okay, so because because as to me, I was also a working student up until the first semester of fourth year. Okay, so tumatanggap-tanggap pa ako ng mga projects. Although my work is not like yung duty-duty because mine is a consultancy. Okay, so like we put up businesses like that. We do cons- I do consultancy. I sort of help fix uh, problems in certain um, business or persons like that. So consultancy. So that has been my I don't know business ever since ever since okay so uh but i also had other businesses in the past uh like uh maybe i already told you before so let's let's i uh, know okay i had a car business no we were importing cars from south korea and i was also uh one of the um, found founding partners of a international language center in for Koreans, Japanese, Taiwanese, right? It's an international language center in the Philippines, which has a lot of branches right now already. So, okay, and, um, okay, so, first year law student, okay, so, yan ha, sir, ha, sir police officer, uh, you just allot time, and then you do my fast reading technique, and you will be able to do well, no? Don't worry about, like, you don't have much time. So you just wake up in the morning a little earlier and then you just sort of sacrifice your well, one hour or two hours of sleep. Sanayin mo na lang yung sarili mo of a shorter sleep and then ibawi mo sa kain, okay? And you watch out for your health. So kahit kain ka ng kain, alright, mas focus mo yung ulam na hindi mataba. 
so that hindi ka maha-high blood, okay? Pero po pwede mo kasi yan, pagka puyat ka, ikain mo yan, right? Ikain mo yan, but then you choose the food very, very wisely. So, you don't take carbonated drinks, yung mga coke, ay, naku, wag ko, pakakala ng coke, ano, kasi meron akong ads na coke, eh. So, <laughs> okay, um, yung ba, basta wag, wag carbonated drinks, no, kasi, kasi makes you, then your sugary beverage makes you sluggish, no, so if you're also going to take coffee, less sugar, because sugar will make your, your, ano, your, your blood more sticky, no, you're becoming more sluggish, okay, so, kaya mo yan, kaya mo yan, how do you study po in law school first year, okay, nagsagot na yan, sir, may working class po, meron, meron, meron working classes and beda, okay, Ah, uh, meron, meron. Pero hanggang ano lang, second year yata. Third year, wala na. But y they sort of accommodate you naman if the slots are available. But if the slots are not available, it's, it's gonna be you who will adjust, no? Okay. So, I have like classmates who are like employees, no? They were able to do ano naman din, finish and graduate like kasabay ko. Uh, pero nauna sila sa akin. Some of them are like taking law naman by, by choice, no? They're taking law years because nga, they have to lessen the unit because yung pasok nila eh let's say kasi ang pasok sa San Beda is 5:30 like that and then minsan may pasok sila like one of my classmates is a professor at UST no ng business no college of business uh, administration so yon in a parallel niya and it's possible naman in in in, in um San Beda you have to finish no uh, within 6 years. That's the rule, no? Okay, pa-share naman po kahit use law books, first year student here. Um, I'm, I am giving away actually um, brand new, no? Um, law books. It's just that uh, medyo ano yung, ano, no? Yung career, no? Uh, it's it's very, ano, I, I, that's why it took me like, what, 6 days to uh, sort of arrange, no? Uh, the, yung pagpapadala ng book because nga yung COVID, ano no, haba ng pila and everything like that. So, I was able to find some people who would do it for me. So, para ako nag, uh, ano, I, I want to give away these books but then yung pag, pag deliver, no, that's the, 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 the issue, no, it's like, ang daming tao, right? Yeah, may COVID pa man din, di ba? Alright. Okay, but but yeah, yeah, I'm still giving away. I have a lot of books that I'm going to give away, no? Brand new books. Planning to enroll in law school, pero I have, ano to? A cover. Nakakatawa man, pero I have this super lead pen. Cover. What's that? Cursive? Suggestion? Lakihan mo lang sulat mo. Kahit pangit ang sulat mo, lakihan mo lang para maintindihan. So, that's my, ano no, solution. Although my, my handwriting kasi, did you know that I cannot write in print? I write in cursive, no? Since elementary. So, sometimes it gets problematic, especially to uh, some professors, no? They don't like cursive. So, the solution is that, nilalakihan ko lang yung sulat ko. And I use 0.7, no? 0.7 or 0.5, but I, I use 0.7, no? This is the, the... I did not change the problem which I use. I use this pen, no? Black or blue. Depende sa professor. Pag matanda yung professor, uh, blue. Blue. Okay? Kasi daw, pag binabasa yan, pag gabi, mas fresh sa mata. So, anyway, points, uh, point seven, no? This is Pilot VRT. Okay? Lakihan mo ang sulat mo. Ay, cursive yan. So, that naiintindihan nila. Context clue naman yan, eh. Kahit magbalibaligtad yung itsura ng letter A, ng O, so long as tama yung spelling mo. Alright? you will be able to, ano, say, for example, various, alright? Yung letter A might be the same as O, but then, if, if malaki ang sulat mo, may kita naman talagang various naman yung wala naman ibang word na. Vi various, ha? hindi virus, ha? So, va, nakita naman na pa-circle yung letter A mo, like that, and mukhang naman siyang so it's various, right? Okay. Okay. Study tips po sa mga incoming first year BS, okay, yeah, legal management. I have a lot of studies, no? who are um, studying legal management, no? Okay, so, um, you know, yung legal management is geared towards assisting, no? In legal work, okay? So, meaning to say, 
assistive ang work niya. But then again, that does not mean that you aasa mo lahat yan sa, sa abogado. Kasi nga, if you're in legal management, you will also be asked to research. Kailangan magaling kayo sa research. But then, first year, no? First year of, of any course, general courses lang yan. So, you would still have to pass, no? Yung, yung basic English ninyo, yung basic chemistry ninyo, yung basic geometry ninyo, ganun, right? So, I don't know the structure right now, but then it, if it's four years, definitely the first year will be for your general subjects, okay? Talagang patentado yan ka ng mga required units, okay? So, classic ang study. Alam niyo ang pag-aaral, ano, sabi nilang study hard and study smart. Pero when you hear people saying study smart, hindi naman nila ma-explain what is study smart. Studying smart is actually looking for the jewels from among the stones. So, for example, you're studying a lot of things and you don't have time anymore, alright? Because the classic is that you have to study everything, okay? Now, if you don't have time, if you kulang-kulang ka na sa time, kasi ang problema ng mga tao, karamihan is that they cannot sort of... Um, give so much time in studying. So, what will you do? If you cannot study hard anymore, you study smart. How do you do that? You look at the jewels from among the stones. How do you do that? Aba, syempre, titignan ha, makikitanong ka, ano ba yung mga tinatanong ng professor? Maghanap ka ng samplex, right? Maghanap ka ng samplex ng professor, magbasa ka ng mga past examinations, right? Magbasa ka ng mga notes na ginamit ng mga higher years, magtanong ka sa mga higher years, ano ba yung mga frequently tinatanong ng professor na ito. So, ngayon, from among, say, 100 topics, and then you were able to determine na parang taon-taon, paulit-ulit, ito ang tinatanong ng professor, 20 among these 100 items. Alright, natural, dun mo i-focus yung pag-aaral mo doon sa sa laging tinatanong ng professor. Why? Hindi naman lahat ho ng 100 topics ay itatanong. Mamimili lang yan ang importante. Hindi naman magtatanong ang professor. Kung yung professor nyo is a, is a rational individual, would only ask the most important parts of your lessons. So, yun yung aaralin mo. Pero hindi ko sinasabi na yun lang ang aaralin mo. Yun ang una mong aaralin. Because by law of probability, yun ang matatanong. Alright? Maybe you've studied in statistics. You study this statistics, no? You have your statistics in high school. You have your statistics in uh, senior high school. You also have your statistics in college. Ako, I mastered my statistics in nursing. Now, we have the nursing statistics, computation, data interpretation, whatever. But what we have what we call the law of probability. Ano ba yung magiging chances? So, if you're studying and you're like studying everything and you're already drowning, you look at the most important parts, okay? Yun yung matatanong, malamang sa malamang, probability-wise, okay? Yun ang matatanong. So, bakit ka magsasayang ng, saya ng oras sa mga bagay-bagay na hindi naman tatanong? I will give you an example. Pumunta kayo sa Vikings, pumunta kayo sa Tongyang, pumunta kayo sa, sa Dad, sa Isaki, alright? Sa buffet, any buffet, four seasons, whatever. Okay? So, Ano mapapansin ninyo? Yung mga pagkain nila, magkakahawig. Magkakahawig. Why? Tempura, di ba? Lechon, right? Ba? Paella. Yan yung mga yan. Yung mga makikita ninyo sa, sa ano, sa Filipino. Ano? Pagdating si Japanese, yan. You have your, yung nga, sa akin, tempura, you have your sushi, you have your maki, right? You have all those. Kasi yun yung commonly na laging possible na iniantisit. Nila, na gusto ng tao. Because yun yung, kumbaga sa mga tao, sa trending, yun yung importante. So, dapat magaling kayong humanap na, ano ba yung trending sa professor na ito? That is studying smart. Okay? It's not like you're going to read pa the entire introduction. Hindi mo na kailangan yun kasi mauubos na yung oras mo. Alright? But then again, studying smart is not, okay, a substitute to studying hard. Okay? Tandaan niya yan, ha? Studying smart, okay? It's just like your sort of your... Well, you're studying smart still while you're studying hard, okay? It's just that I am telling you that you do not dispense with studying hard when you can, okay? And then, if you don't have time, and then don't ka mag-study smart. Pero ang pinakamaganda, you harmonize it together, okay? Studying hard with elements of studying smart. Kasi, studying smart is based on probability. 
Okay, it's based on probability. Ito yung diskarte. Ano itatanong nitong prof? I always um, write no yung favorite keywords ng professors and I use those keywords no in the examination as well as recitation. So I have like a no uh, like this professor here are the keywords of this professor. Ito ang favorite niyang topic. Ito yung topic na na nasabi na niya more than once. I have that. I have that I'm I'm uh, what do you call this? I have that uh, sort of because I got it in in nursing no because yung sa health nga ilang beses na nagkalagnat to. Ilang beses nang inubuto ng tuloy-tuloy sa isang araw like that. So, most probably, right, yun yung sakit niya. Yun yung inclinations ng body niya. <laughs> so, in-apply ko yan sa low school. So, every time naririnig ko yung professor, eto, eto, lagi niya sinasabi tong case na to. Natural, lalabas yung case na yun. Kasi yun yung probability. Okay? So, Okay, how do you speed read po when you are using laptop or iPad? The same thing. It's the same principle. It's the same principle. You watch me thunder read. It's the same principle. Any tips? First year, still adjusting law student. Any tips for notes? Review for I 1Q? Ano tong 1Q? 1Q or IQ exam? IQ exam, you can't do anything about it eh. Uh, IQ would really put your <laughs> practice, di ba? Pero you cannot do anything about your IQ if your IQ is... Let's say, 100, 100 talaga. Eh, siguro tataas, bababa, konti lang. Okay? Pero you can practice. Okay? You can practice para tumaas-taas ng kaunti. ba? Diba? Kung 100 yan, 120 yan, kahit mag-uulit ka ng IQ examiner, let's go to 115, 120 to 120, pwede doon lang maglalaro yan. Okay? Pero, sinasabi mo, first year, uh, any tips for notes, review? Or, yun nga, mem aid nga, mem aid nga. Pagka mag-e-exam mag na, nako, wag na ko kayo magbabasa ng full text. Ubus na oras. Hindi na ko kayo makakapag-aral ng, ng full text kapag ka, kayo ay mag e na. This is the reason why sabi ko sa inyo kanina, while preparing for your recitations, you do the CCC MN. What's that? The codal, the cases in full, the commentaries, the memory items and beda, and the notes. Why? Kasi nga, kahit hindi nyo datnan yung notes, nakarating kayo sa commentary, nakarating nakuha nyo yung substance, yung CCC, the law, okay, which is the codal provision, and then the the case, uh, the full text, which came from the Supreme Court, and then what? The commentaries, okay? So kahit hindi kayo ho makarating sa memory aid at notes, okay na kayo, okay na okay na kayo. Kasi nga, the memory aid will just summarize everything na nandoon sa unang tatlo. Okay? Nakuha ninyo. Ngayon, Kaya sinabi ko sa inyo na dapat yun ang gawin ninyo dahil pagdating na examination, say for example, the midterms is already upcoming and then it's already one week, you can no longer read, you can no longer read the full text cases and the commentaries. It's already too late, okay? What you're going to study are your reviewers, alright? The mem aid, the... Uh, Uh, the, uh, what do you call this? The summary of the doctrines. All right. So if you can read fast, then why not? Diba? Pero that's really not feasible because this is the reason why you have your recitation in order for you to sort of read everything so that when the examination comes, you've already read this because you have no more time to read full text before, let's say, three days before the 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 final examination or the midterm examination and you're just going to read the full text hindi ka matatapos talaga if say you were given 200 cases and you're going to read that you're not, you're gonna die <laughs> you're gonna die maybe mentally or physically <laughs> so wala pa naman akong ano namatay na nag-aaral pero what I'm saying is that that's next to impossible so this is the reason why when you are going to take the examinations you're already reading the notes the reviewers, the memory aid, okay. Yan kasi nga bakit, review na lang. Sabi nga na isa namin professor, eh ano re-review ninyo kung di kayo nag-aaral? So dapat mag-aaral talaga kayo para meron kayong ma-review. Tandaan ninyo ang memory aid reviewer. Tandaan niyo yung notes reviewer. So ano ang re-review mo kung di ka nag-aaral? Diba? Parang logical naman yun, diba? Okay. So ganun ho mag-prepare. Okay. Is it okay to enter law school after having a bib? Bakit naman hindi? Given that there's a lot of pressure from reading and finances, buying lot, bakit naman hindi? Alam mo, pagka gusto, laging merong paraan. Oo, gawan mo ng paraan, kaya mo yan. Okay? Kuha ka ng small units only. Okay? 
Wag mong i-full blown yung ano mo. Let's say you can take low for 5 or 6 years, labnawan mo lang yung yung dami ng units mo, labnawan or konti an mo lang yung kuha ng units mo. All right? Kung merong mga schools na trimester, di kuhanin mo yung trimester. So, but then, konti an mo yung load mo para naman may time ka sa baby mo. Kasi you have to balance it. Why? 4 years, 5 years, 6 years, sobra kang busy. Eh, yung bata, the child would only grow once. Nanda mo yan, ha? The, 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 the baby will only grow once. Kapag yan, medyo na, na, na parang hindi mo nabigyan ng tamang attention dahil busy ka sa isang bagay. Lalaki, lalaki siya, hindi mo na malayan, sayang. Eh, di ba, napakasarap habang lumalaki yung bata na dumadaan siya sa toddler, sa ano, ganyan. Hindi mo mapapansin yun if you parang sort of put everything naman in your studies. So, ang suggestion ko is, you know, life is like a balancing act. So, what you're gonna do is, like, you just take small units lang, little, little units lang. And then, yung, let yung law school mo mag, medyo habaan mo ng ka Parang nandiyadyaan lang siya. But it's not taking away you from the most important, ano, thing in your life, or thing, or person in your life, which is the baby. Siyempre, priority yung baby. Ano lang yung law school? Uh, sideways lang yun, di ba? <laughs> Sideline lang yun dapat. So, magiging abogado ka pa rin, gagraduate ka pa rin, dagdag na lang ng sort of aral, right? Dagdagan mo yung time na nasa bahay ka, nag-aaral ka, na, nandyan sa harapan mo yung baby mo, right? Mag-multitask ka. But, but I don't suggest you talagang going head on, alright? And then you have a little baby, because yung quality ng time na makukuha ng bata, mababawasan talaga dahil grabe ang law school kapag full time. Okay ha? Okay, what about single stroke? Tiba't nanggap na sa bar ang single stroke? Ano single stroke? I don't know what single stroke is. Ako cursive. Oo. Okay. Naalala ko tuloy, sabi ko sa sarili ko nung wala pang time, ang taong gipit sa codal at reviewer. Tama yan. Oo, talagang ganun. Kapag ang tao ay gipit sa coder at sa reviewer, kumakapit. Pero tandaan, may backlash yan. Backlash! Woo-woo! Yun, ganun. Nandali na, may reply lang ako, ha? Okay, so now, naaalala, okay, naaalala ko tuloy, sabi ko sarili ko, ay, hi Kuya Rob, thank you tip, thank you sa tips. Hirap mag pag verbatim, yung gusto kong, yung gusto ko ng prof sa krimon, o gano'n lang talaga yon. 15 lang kami ngayon sa class, so on deck every meeting, that's true. Alam nyo, kahit naman dati, on deck naman kami lahat, kasi sinashuffle na ganyan, no? Go soon, right, sabi rin ako, kahingang malalim, di ba? Okay, the show must go on, right? So, even if you know, you don't know the answer, you must know the answer. So, dyan papasok yung codal, cases, commentaries, memory aid, notes. Dyan sa lima na yan, may mapupulot ka dyan. Kung wala talaga dyan, ano? Stock knowledge. Stock knowledge. Pakahusayan ninyo yung statutory construction nyo. Marami kayo mong kukuha dyan because you can use legal principles, No? Even if you weren't able to read it, but you know the legal, the Roman legal principles, you will be able to answer in one way or another. In one way or another, you will be able to answer, I'm telling you. Okay? Ha-memorize yung maganda yung mga Latin maxims. Ano yan? Roman law yan. So, hindi yan binding, no? Hindi yan binding legal sort of principles in our jurisdiction. It's not binding, but it's persuasive. Why? Kasi historically, dyan binase yung ating mga batas, lalo yung civil law, right? So, well, pasok yan sa ibang other uh, realms of law, pero yung mga commonly, no? Pasok yan sa crime and um, crime poly, tsaka civil law, no? So, Roman law, no? So, yan yung mga naririnig yung ex necessitati legis, no long crimen, no la pina sinilegay. Yan yung naririnig yung ganyan. Uh -oh. So, you must be able to sort of uh, master that. Kahit hindi mo maalala yung, yung um, exact Latin maxim, but you remember the principle, okay, you will be able to somehow get it, get, get from there. Eh. So, nemo dat kuod non habet. One cannot give which he does not have. Diba? So, 
if you don't know the exact provision there in the civil code and talagang wala kang idea, di bumunot ka ng bumunot ka ng Roman legal principle. Okay, tingnan mo, i-ano mo, i-harmonize mo dun sa tanong yun ang isagot mo. So, hindi ka like quote and quote bok ya, di ba? Ito pa, bakit uunahin ko ang cases? Unahin mo cases kasi pag natanong ka ng case, hindi ka pwedeng syempre factual yun. Right? So, factual yun eh. So, hindi ka naman pwedeng mag-invento out of the blue, di ba? Hindi ka Talagang pag tinanong ka na, oh, what is the case of ganito, ganyan? Southern Hemisphere case, like that. Oh, ah, 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 hindi mo alam. Siyempre, hindi mo na ba. Pwede mo bang makuha yun sa, sa other sources? You really have to read the, the case. Okay? So, pag gipit, oh, di mag, mag-digest na rin. Magbasa na rin ng digest. But then, yun nga, merong backlash yan. Kasi gawa din ng mga ibang estudyante yan. So, parang, hearsay. <laughs> Kasi nga, if you want to uh, directly get, you know, the wisdom, no? Or the ruling, no? Coming from the the Supreme Court itself. Eh, kasi yung mga digests na nakikita nyo sa internet, ang totoo niyan, mali-mali yung marami, no? Napaka... Kasi I read the cases in full, and then sometimes I read the yung mga digests pag bilisan na, right? So, parang mali-mali talaga. So, nadala na ako dyan. So, uh, I... I <laughs> Before, no, nalagang kapit patalim, no? And then I read, read very fast the digest, right? Okay naman, pero pag nagtanong na yung professor ng um, more details like that, hindi mo na ma, ma ano dahil ka, di ba? Right? So, kapit patalim, so hindi na naulit yun. Talagang nagbabasa na ako ng, ano, first year yun, first year yun. Oo, kasi kala ko nun uubra yung digest. Okay? So, uubra naman, hindi ka mga like quote and quote bokya yeah, because may style ako, this case is about, and then I'll say the, sort of the, the, the uh, what do you call this, the thesis statement, alright? And then I will tell some of the facts which I remember, and then the issue, and then the ruling, no? So, sometimes, this is a case about ganito, diretso na sa doctrine. So, minsan, yung professor, pagka medyo masarap yung discussion, hindi ka natatanong yung facts, nakakaantok kasi yung facts. So, tatatanong yung, based on that ruling, ganun na, pag sinabi na ng professor na, based on that ruling of the Supreme Court, um, do you, ayan, pagka narinig ko na yan, based on that ruling, ibig sabihin, tama, Oh, dito na ito na yung sagot mo. Nakalusot ka sa fax, di ba? So, okay. Di ba? Naranasan ko rin ho yan. Yung kapit patalim, yung bem aid lang yung binasa at kodal. At saka digest. So, mabilis na mabilis. Naranasan ko rin ho yan. Opo. Pero hindi po ako nabokya sa recitation. Wala ho akong bokya. Okay. Salamat. Very informative, useful mga tips din yun. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, guys, before I end uh, this, no? Because... Uh, I have been already maybe talking for how many, how many, ano na, how many, how many hours na, I can't, I can't find it here. But anyway, so before I end this, maybe I'll have, you know, some other time na, I can you know, answer many questions, no? Okay. Uh, <laughs> do everything that you can kasi yung, yung followers ko lower years yet, no? So, but right now, meron na rin ako marami na followers na third year, fourth year. Why? Because JD na nga ako, Juris Doctor na ako. So, yung mga law students, they sort of like listen to me on how to graduate, okay? Your course, okay? Um, alam mo, sabihin ko sa inyo na, what do you call this? Very, very important yung foundation ninyo sa first year. So, wag na wag ninyong... Siguro kung maglamierda kayo second year. <laughs> Pero I don't recommend na lamierda kayo. Pero okay lang naman maglamierda. It's for your mental health. Pero kung meron kayong talagang tatrabahuhin ng husto ho, yung first year ninyo, kasi yan ho yung foundation ng lahat. Pagdating nyo na second year, third year, fourth year, mapapansin ninyo na ang mga principles, okay, na pasok sa mga more specialized laws, are actually still based no on the uh, fundamentals. So, syempre mag-aaral pa rin kayo ng sa higher years, natural yun, ha? makukuha ninyo. Pero if you start your, parang sa pitch yan, ng pagkanta, if you start it on the right pitch, no hindi sintonado yung pagsisimula mo, most probably matatapos mo ng maayos yung performance mo. Okay? Okay? Atrabahuhin ho ninyo yung first year ninyo, no? mapakahalaga ho ng first year yung mga subject na, lalo na ho, 
yung statutory construction. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, it, it's one of the best subjects na dapat talaga ninyong the most important subjects. of the most important subjects na kailangan talagang sobrang galingan ninyo ho talaga sa, sa subject na yan. Kasi, bakit? Yung statutory construction, yan ho yung skill ng pagbabasa ng batas. Okay? Construction is understanding eh. Right? If you're going to look at the dictionary. Construction is the process of understanding. Construing. So, it's statutory construction. It's the process of understanding the law. So, if you're really good at that, I'm lucky, no? That the, my professor was the 2014 uh, bar exam top 1. Attorney Irene May Alcobilia, she was our professor. Dito ako, sobrang higpit. Sobrang higpit. Tapos, cases in full text. Tapos, yung book ni Agpalo, pati talagang each page, talagang, tapos, memorize mo dapat yung mga Latin maxims. Like, that's talagang, trinabaho ko talaga iyon. So, nadala ko yon yung ability to, to read the law. No? So, first, una mo nang titignan, Plain, plain reading pa yung kailangan dyan. Titingnan pa ba natin yung intention dyan? Kung plain reading lang ang kailangan, ganito, ganyan. And then several, several, several cases, lahat, pati labor law, nandidiscuss dyan. Construing labor law provisions, construing the, the wordings of the, the Supreme Court, construing the wordings of the, the, the Constitution. So, napakahalaga ho ng statutory. And I consider myself very blessed, no? To have attorney Alcubilla, no? as my uh, professor in statutory construction. And, my legal research, writing and logic was, my professor there was attorney Angelo David, no? The top six in 2014 as well, who is now a, a Harvard lawyer, no? And fortunately, fortunately, he was also, he is, no? Right now, in our, the review center where I am enrolled at, he is my one-on-one -on -one coach. So, it's like, you know, turning the circle back and then I'm, I'm back to I'm back to his tutelage. So, three days ago, no, we had a one-to-one -one Zoom session, no, and he was, you know, like, uh, giving feedback on my performance because I topped, no, the the commercial law examination. Um, point five ang pagkakaiba ko sa, sa ano, I was top uh, two no sa commercial law sa lahat na nagtake and i was in the top 10 sa criminal law so ganun <laughs> yun ho so my grade day in commercial law was uh 97.5 no 97.5 it's like a bar exam ano like simulation no so he's my coach and then he asked me what do i do how do i read like that and so i told him i told him the truth I read just three to five hours per day, very lightly. I read once, like that. So, so he told me, oh, look at you. What can you do if you're going to study eight to 12 hours per day? And then I told him, I confessed to him, I have a problem, sir. Eh. Even in my law school, I only read once and twice already. I'm already feeling painful because I feel like uh, I'm sort of reading something, like like watching a movie I already watched, like that. So, so he told me to sort of commit all right to to sort of um, uh, if i if uh sort of i want to really like uh top the bar examination uh if i will double that what can i do that was his question eh right because i was just reading lightly and then i i got 97 point yeah 97.5 commercial law top 2 in the in the batch of of all reviewees and then it's, it's a big ano ah big, it's a big review center ah and then within top 10 on criminal law so those are two uh, difficult subjects no but i have a trivia to you uh what do you call this uh commercial law uh, taxation pala taxation balita ako kasi sa taxation all right so i am not very good with taxation i don't consider myself very good with taxation i told attorney David that I, I don't consider myself very good taxation but I it's one of the subjects no that I did not obtain any uh, line of uh, seven in, in law school no? so taxation why because yun nga study smart and then pag yun mahina ka doon may pasok yung yung pag-aaral mo right okay so ano pa ba okay 
Uh, um, ito pa pala, don't compete with your classmates. So, if some of your classmates would compete with you, no problem. Hayaan mo lang. Pero, huwag ka makipag-compete sa iba. Okay? So, ganun yung ginawa ko. Na parang lutang-lutang na ako sa law school. Ako pa kailang. Alright? Basta yung aking career, kung baga yung aking career, nasikaso ko lang. Right? Kasi, kapag kinumpare mo yung sarili mo sa iba, mapipressure ka. Masisira yung diskarte mo. So, dapat, talagang enjoyin mo yung pag-aaral mo, you study, you study smart, you enjoy it, and then if you have free time, you go out with your classmates, ay hindi yata pwede ngayon, pero pero marama din na kasi GCQ, di ba? So, you go out with your classmates, you eat outside, right? You go to at Tagayta, you go to or at Batangas, like mag road trip kayo, like that, if you have free time. And then, ang style ko pa is that meron, meron akong mga audio, audio materials, no? So, given to me by my friends, like that, Uh, I play it, no? But I don't distribute it kasi dahil nga nagagalit yung mga author. So, it's just for my personal, personal use. So, since first year, even before I entered law school, up until now, no? Ang background music ko, mga review lectures. Okay? Mga lectures ng mga legal luminaries. So, uh, aside from my background music, which is yung classical music and then sometimes I do OPM I do I listen to yung 90s up to present like that I have another ano parang it's part of my system hinahanap ng katawan ko I play lectures audio lectures as my background music so because I believe in passive learning I also believe in sleep learning. So, I don't know about you. Some people laugh at me when I say sleep learning. But, well, I don't know. Maybe it worked for me. Or maybe it just boosted my confidence. So, when I sleep, I also have that uh, little the lecture going on loop. I'm listening. So, sometimes I can guess the answers. I don't know where I read it. But I can guess this is the correct. I know this is the answer. So, perhaps it's from my sleep learning. Okay. I'm hearing comments from other law school about SBU. Will you recommend SBU law school to those who are still undecided about their... Aba, syempre naman. Definitely. Eh, San Beda, San Beda College of Law is one of the best law schools. It's, it's really one of the best law schools in the, the Philippines. Why? Look at our bar performance. First time takers, lagi kami top one. But then, if you add naman yung lahat-lahat, lagi ho kami top 2 and top 3 sa school. So, meaning to say, hindi ho nawawala ang San Beda sa mga pinakamagagaling na performing law school. So, why would you sort of, ah, uh, parang, bakit ka pa maghihinayang na hindi ka, ba't mo pa pag-iisipan, right? Na if you have naman the means, the opportunity, right? The financial capability, right? to have the time, why not choose, di ba, San Beda College of Law, right? I'm not saying that it's the best. My own opinion, of course it is. Because I'm a bedan, ano ah, juris doctor. Pero, pa, balikan mo ako ng first year, pipiliin ko pa rin ho ang San Beda. Although, napakahigpit ho ng San Beda dahil ho yung QPI. Napakataas ho ng QPI, ang standard ho ng San Beda. Pero ang San Beda ho kasi, would give you an opportunity, would give you an opportunity. Kasi bakit ho, yung UP na tineyo, hindi ka ho makapasok dyan kung ikaw ay isang ordinaring individual. Meaning to say, kung hindi ka rin naman valedictorian, hindi ka naman honor student back in, in, in college, medyo yung grades mo, medyo ano-ano lang, eh, hindi ko makakapasok dyan because the screening begins before you even enter. But San Beda is has a different style. Sige, basta ipasa mo yung, yung aming entrance examination, pasok ka. Pero sa loob ang screening. O, ba diba? Parang star search. Ganon. Tapos hanggang makarating kayong fourth year, ilan na lang kayo. <laughs> right? That's the style of San Beda. Wag, wag, wag natin ano yon yung iba kasi nag parang nagsasama ng loob sa San Beda. Kasi nga, eh, pero for me naman, I told myself already in, in in my first year, no? It's like, this is the style of San Beda. I will go with it, right? I will, I never complained of that style. So, what I did was just to, like, 
you know, eh siyempre, yun ang gusto nila, mataas ang QPI, o di, trabahuhin natin ho yung QPI rather than spending our time, di ba, complaining on, uh, on the internet, complaining on uh, our friends and family, how, you know, sort of difficult it is, hindi ko ho kasi ugali yung nagbebe moan, hindi ho hindi ho hindi maganda hong ano yon um, hobby no na we always find what's difficult we always find the solution if there is a problem then we find the solution let's be like solution finders rather than problem finders de ba so yes I recommend San Beda College of Law I'm proud of it and I think no that uh, it helped me it trained me no kasi ngayon Bakit? Hindi ko na prof yung mga nag-check ng bar exam trials. But why is it that I'm part of the top notchers in the, in the, that big uh, legal uh, sort of review center? Bakit nakakuha ko ng 97.5 sa commercial though, which I top, top 2 kasi yung top 1 is 98. And then why would did I place within the top 10 ng criminal law? See? Meaning to say, yung training that I had back in San Beda, kasi this, this review center is not related to San Beda, right? So, if if the, my training was sort of lakadacial, right? Mat, matabang, edi, I would, di ba, fail siguro the bar exam trial corrected by what? Legal luminaries na hindi naman nagtuturo sa, sa San Beda. So, you see, there's really like a, a result Diba? There is a result. Oh. wag naman ho ninyong ipagkamali na pinagyayabang ko. Hindi ko ho pinag... Uh, para sa akin ho eh, pinapakita ko ho sa inyo na parang kung hindi tama yung training sa San Beda, eh di sana kulelat, kulelat yung product nila pagdating sa mga sort of other exams na ang mag-check eh, hindi professor ng, ng San Beda. Right? So you see? Oo. Uh, okay? Okay, so if you're undecided, try San Beda. O ngayon, pag nagpumasa ng San Beda, tumuloy-tuloy ka, dyan ka makagraduate ng San Beda, well and good, very good, right? O e, paano kung mga QPI ho ako? O edi, you tried. You can never tell yourself, you know, I'll tell you this. The things that you will regret in life are not the things that you did, but the things that you did not do. O oh, halimbawa, pagdating na panahon, ano ka na, ay, dream school ko ho yan sa Beda, kaso parang kakatakot ho yata, hindi na ako nagtuloy. O, habang buhay mo maiisip, what if nag San Beda ako, di ba? Right? What if I, I tried there studying in my dream school? Baka pumasa din naman ako eh, di ba? Parang ganun. Gusto mo bang meron kang ganun pagdating ng panahon matanda ka na? meron kang gano'n na hindi mo ginawa, dapat, you know, you have this attitude of, you know, let's try, let's try, let's do it, come on, come on, what's going on, let's do it, right? That's the attitude that you should have in order for you to sort of, like, get what you want in life. You should try it, try it, hey, what's going on, let's do it, let's do it, right? Let's may, ano eh, like my friends always hear me, hey, what's going on, let's, <laughs> right? Let's, 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 let's. Yeah, because, you know, you if you have, like, this attitude of, like, exploring life, like, uh, sort of seeing what life gives to you and not letting fear sort of block your path, you make mistakes, that's true. You may commit blunders, that's true. You may even commit failure, that's true. You may even fail, that's true. But you will not tell yourself at the end of the day that you did not do what you can. And you did not try what you wanted to try. Okay? Ganun lang yun. Okay? Okay, so long as hindi krimen yan, huwag mo susubukan yung krimen. Ilibang usapan yun. Ang sinasabi natin is, uh, the most things in life naman are not crimes, di ba? So, okay, do it, do it, right? So long as it's not, it's not contrary to law, otherwise, naku, okay, mas rehas ka, di ba? Okay. And then, finally, I would like to uh, tell everybody that I appreciate your kind words. No? 
because I've been receiving a lot of messages, no emails, na perfect daw ni Linguiz. Hindi daw sila sa recitation because of the coaching that I gave them. Alright, and the videos that I post on the internet. So, I'm very happy that, um, you know, I am being able, to, I, 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 I provided no value to each and every one of you. And my videos recorded there forever will help a lot of people, no? especially the ALAC formula. No? Three days ago, I told attorney, attorney David, no? Sir, because he asked me, do you have anything, anything more to say before we end this coaching session? So I told him, thank you very much, sir, because of your ALAC formula. No? So he, he even told me that I already mastered the ALAC formula. And uh, because before he, he met he has a lot, had a lot of students right there, but I look like my name was familiar like that and then ah he was my student like that and then and then he, he said that the uh, alak formula the the way that I answered no the bar examination question is very it's it's impressive because it's you have the answer you have the legal basis you have the argument you have your conclusion so it's like uh I'm happy now that I'm able to master this formula it was from him and then I told him that, did you know, sir, that that's one of the first videos I had, okay, in my channel, which is now monetized, alright? So every time uh, a person would view my video, alright, an ad would appear and I get paid, I get paid. So thank you so much, sir, for this. And this ALAC formula was able and is still able to help, you know, thousands, you no, know, hundreds if not thousands of law students like, across the Philippines, alright? to answer, okay, their examinations using this formula. So, it's just like, I'm just a messenger, no? Because that's his, ano eh, I learned it from him, eh. And he also learned it from, from professors before him. It's just like, I'm just a messenger of this sort of formula to, to sort of the, the, the public. Kasi parang dati, ano lang yan, eh, matutuhan mo lang yan sa, sa review center na. Or matutuhan mo lang yan sa mga, mga law schools na, yan nga, yung mga, Top, for, for, top performing law school siyang ALAC formula but you know I, I sort of wanted to really parang bring it no to to, to all law students in the Philippines so that we had they have like a, a sort of a uh, what you might call it uh, as a standard right format so that hindi na na stress yung utak mo what's my answer yes or no hindi ko alam ang answer oh sige dun muna tayo sa legal basis alright and then you argue and then you Ah, ito ba yung argument mo? Hindi na-convince ka na, palitan mo, yes or no, or palitan, not palitan, o disulat mo, yes or no, right? And then you make your conclusion. It really helps you, no? It really makes everything, uh, especially answering essay questions, very, very much easier, okay? So, thank you so much to everybody, no? At, um, wala na ba kayong tanong? Wala na kayong tanong, I would, um, end this video in, uh, 30 seconds if you don't have any more questions, no? I'm, I don't know, I have my Viber community, which I, again, opened because I, I turned it off for two weeks kasi, eh, because I was preparing nga na nga talaga for, for the bar examination. So, I opened it again, the Viber community, the coaching community for first-year students, as well as the ma the Life Master class. Okay, so I have like two public, uh, but exclusive, okay, by invitation only. Uh, community for coaching, life coaching, and um, coaching for law school, no? So, hoping you notice my DM. Yeah, I'll check your DM, no? Because guys, huwag kayo magtatampo sa akin kasi I receive literally lots and lots, lots of messages on on uh, Twitter, on uh, uh, YouTube, on my page, which is, uh, nearing, which is now nearing 18,000 followers, on my personal uh, page, and various social media handles, no? So, sometimes, really, I cannot talaga read everything or even if I sort of read, I cannot really reply, you know, because of the, the volume, no, of, of people trying to reach out, which is, but I really do appreciate, no, like, every one of you trying to reach out to me. Many of them don't even want to, you know, ask for tips or whatever. They're just expressing, no, their uh, gratitude and appreciation to the things that I do. So, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much. You follow my tips. You follow my tips. These are, I know, these are, 
you know, even if you examine my tips, they're all based on logic. They're all reasonable. I just sort of made it like more structurized because I was able to experience it. You, you include your life experience plus logic plus what doesn't work. That's where you get the tips. Right? And these are valuable tips. Right? Now, what makes my video special? Hindi ako nag edit right? What makes my video special? Maybe I think. What makes my video special is that I answer questions on the spot. And you get really the unadulterated sort of tips or information coming from my mind and from my heart straight to to you all right so thank you for following all my social media handles and thank you for supporting my my youtube channel no hindi ko naman ho sina giant tingnan niyo ho yung mga video ko nung manakaraan talagang ay nako yung mga ibang vlogger talagang todo edit and everything to impress the public but whom will i impress i'm just you know I just wanted to share how to answer no using the ALAC formula back then. I just wanted because I'm doing mentorship, no? From since second year ako, lagi ako may, may mga mentees na lower years. So, dumami na ng gusto ko yung nagtatanong sa akin ng tips. So, I decided, okay, since one of my very close close friends, no, uh, started, op he opened his vlog. Kasi sabi ko, oh, maganda yan, ha? Okay, I'm also going to open mine. Walang kaplano-plano, blanco ko. And then I recorded my selfie like that. And then I, I did some tips and everything. And then, boom! Thousands, thousands of views. Uh, people started to ask more and more videos. And so, that's how it started, ho. Ganun ho ang nag-start, ano, nag no? Yung ating vlog, which is right now. I thank, thank, my, I thank, thank you to my fans, friends, and followers. Every video that you watch, I get I get a certain amount of uh, payment, no? Like even one video, and because you have your little ads there, like the small ad, like you hindi yung skip ad ha, yung maliit na ad, right? Or even the unskippable ads, I get to be paid. So thank you so much. Hindi ko ho ina expect yan. So maraming 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 salamat ko sa inyo. Hindi naman ho malaki. Parang ano lang pang pambasahe lang ho ng buhay. Opo. Pero I really appreciate it kasi hindi ko ho talaga hindi ko inexpect oh, na ganun nga ho. <laughs> okay. So um maybe I will ano open the, the the coaching community. I'm still thinking if I'm really going to open it to the public so everybody you know, those people who know me, I'm a very exclusive person, eh. So, it's like, I, I really want, sort of, like, even you have, like, what, almost 200 in each community. I send, I tend to have, like, a little more familiarity with these people because before inviting them in, I screened, no? From which school, from anong, ano, first year ba ito, like that. So, I, I screen and it's for invitation. Okay. Thank you so much. God bless you, everybody. And I hope that you all stay safe. Notwithstanding that I am a Jewish doctor, I am also a, a registered nurse. So I am very concerned with the health of of you guys. So, mag alcohol ho sa kamay. Hugasan ho na alcohol ang kamay, hindi ang atay. Okay? Mag alcohol po sa kamay, hindi sa atay. Okay, God bless you and may the roads rise up to meet you. Oh, don't forget to follow my <laughs> blogger and blogger. Don't forget to follow my Rob Gozun channel on, on um, YouTube, <laughs> my Instagram, which is also Rob Gozun, my Twitter, which is also Rob Gozun, <laughs> and my page. Okay, don't forget to share the contents. Okay. Don't forget to share the contents and to those who came late, I am going to re-upload this video so you can watch it here and on YouTube. So if you want to help like, like spread the good vibes and information, you can copy the link on the video on YouTube and paste it on your Facebook page so that they are directed towards my YouTube. Alright, so <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And uh... I'm happy that uh, I have this very warm 
and sweet community, no? Online community uh, following me and supporting everything that I do. So, thank you. Thank you so much. There will be more videos coming. There will be more videos coming, but don't expect edited videos. So, I don't know. May mag-edit sa akin. Alam, mag magparamdam kayo kung merong edit, edit, whatever dyan. Na free ang time ninyo. Okay? So, more on like this videos. Videos like this, I mean. Alright? So, God bless you. Bye-bye. I miss you all. I miss you too. Okay? Sige, bago ako magpaano, magsishoutout tayo. Renzi, Ro Renzi Rosel, Tony Ariola. Renevic Rizaldo, Justin Francesca is watching, Segar Barbosa is watching, Roger C, May Hada Cabarias, Jason Sanining, Robin Belloy, Patty Vargas, Mary Grace, Egot, Red Vin, Sheila Lin, yeah, Sheila Lin Rivera, and then Chinese yung sulat, no Japanese, hindi ko mabasa, Ken Abara, Paolo Ray Martinez, Sir Rob, you have been my inspiration since I decided to enter law school. I am now a first year law student of San Bedalo. I will follow you. Martinez, you join my, um, what do you call this, my uh, coaching community if you have not already. So you email, not email, you send me a private message, okay, on both, no? on my personal page so that I get to notice it and on my my official page because you're from San Beda I will um I will uh, no include you in the coaching community okay so Lemuel Batan yes I can Mapul Hill Amoranto JD Gal I will send you the link no Mr. ano Paolo Ray Martinez if you have not joined already Okay, so you let me know, you let me. Jacqueline Refil Velarde, ayan, ayan, right? Thank you so much. Ang dami ninyo, ang dami ninyo. Tatman, thank you for sa lahat ng tips. Promise po, super effective siya. Still learning the process on my own. Please, own face. Pero salamat po talaga. Tips po on studying Philippine Kasi sige, next time, next time. Oh, I have a video on how to answer, you know, um, constitutional questions. Generally lang naman. Toto Caramonte Obero, Zelga Jean, K. Campi, anak ko, ang dami-dami ho nila. Yes. Thank you. God bless you. And good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye-bye.